the river is so swollen that the forest is completely inundated when the tide comes in. Nowadays, rising sea levels caused by climate change are causing the highest monsoon tides to be even higher, squeezing the wildlife into ever smaller spaces. The deer must seek out the few small areas of higher ground. Many gather on the beach near the deserted fishing village. But the tigress is also keeping herself dry here. The deer would rather get their feet wet than become cat food. The monsoon can be a punishing time, having implications. There may be enough food here to support lots of tigers. So much food, perhaps, that it seems some tigers don't need to hunt prey that walks right into them. Early indications from the tiger team's work suggest that the Sundarbans might have the greatest concentration of tigers in the world, maybe over 300 animals. These tigers need protecting, but so do the people. It's too early to say if the unique conditions here make these tigers more aggressive, but one thing is clear. Many people who come into the Sundarbans don't know how to behave in tiger country. The tiger team are trying to make people think about safety. Don't go into the forest alone and don't work at night. The fishermen, back in the village after the rains, are building a cage around the waterhole to discourage further visits from the tigress. Protecting all the thousands who come into the Sundarbans every year to catch fish, cut wood or gather honey will be a difficult task. But strangely, these livelihoods are only possible because of the tigers. Fear of the big cats means that only the bravest venture into the Sundarbans. Without the tigers, the forest would soon be overrun and the natural bounty it provides would be lost. Mm -hmm.